Hello, my name is Chris. I will be teaching you today how to slow down your videos effectively with, um, well, basically any program that is supported by Twixter, but um, I will be using Premiere Pro. Um, I recommend this program the most to slow your videos down because I've had experience with Sony Vegas is what I started with, what I actually edited all my videos on. I'm actually switching over to this program because I tried Twixter with uh, Sony Vegas. wasn't that working that well. I tried After Effects. Uh, also, it wasn't working that well. It just didn't uh, allow me to do everything I wanted to. Um, and Premiere Pro is more for collaborations. So I'm going to show you how to use Twixter on Premiere Pro CS6. So um, uh, Premiere Pro comes from the Adobe Creative Suite family. Suite or is it suit? I think it's suit. Sounds better when suit. Yeah. So this is the program. Twixter is right here. It's by Revision Effects Incorporated. They have a bunch of different ones, but these are different programs that support it. You have Vegas Pro, Sparks for Autodesk, Twist Twixter multi host floating license. I think that's yeah, I think Aha, uh -huh. Sparks for, yeah. Um, the supported ones are After Effects, Avid Systems, Final Cut Express, Final Cut Pro, Fusion Rotation, All Effects, Shake. I something saw me these different programs. I don't know, but it's um, hmm. Let's see. I'm pretty sure there was a compatibility page somewhere. Anyway. Whichever way you got a hold of these products, whether you purchase them, whether you borrow them, <clears throat> you will basically be installing them. Uh, when you get the programs, you, you know, when you purchase your programs, you will get instructions on how to install it. I will not be going over that right now. I'll probably make another video on installing it. But um, I'm this this video is basically for those people that have it installed just don't know exactly what to do and I'm gonna simplify this instructional video as much as I can just so I can um, help you guys as much as I can so what you're gonna wanna do is open up your Premiere Pro CS6 um, program application and once that opens up it's gonna make you open up a new project you can open a project you, you create a new project open up a new project um, oh my god, open up a new project, open up an old project, or get some help. So, I'm going to create a new project and name it YouTubes with the Z. Has to be the Z. No, I'm, I'm joking. It's a you create the name for this, whatever you want. Then you have the new sequence window where you'll actually this, this might come in handy if you are more into the video quality, uh, such as if you're working with a video with um 60 frames per second or anything higher than that this is where you change it um so what i did actually for 60 frames per second videos is i created a custom one you could do that by going into settings and creating a custom one right there but i already created a custom one where i um allowed it to work on 60 frames per second that basically allows more frames and what Twixer does is it guesses frames in between when you slow it down to uh, make it look like it's a lot more frames and um, when you actually have a good quality video that's at just the right angle just with the right quality it works out perfectly so I'm actually gonna be using a 30 frame per second um, video so I'm gonna go back to the sequence preset and select the regular widescreen um, now once everything loads up, you're going to see, your windows might be a little messed up, but um, I mean this instructional video is simplified, but I'm guessing you're not that slow, sorry if that offends you, but you'll, you'll get around with the names as where these are located, because as you can see, you could relocate everything however you want it. So now you have your project window here with the sequence that I just created. Uh, you have the media browser where you can import your videos through the program. You have your info, you have your effects, this will actually come in handy in a bit. You have your markers, which I haven't used yet, and the history. And keep in mind, I'm also new to this program, so that's why I'm simplifying it as much as I can. 
Now what you're going to do is uh, get your video, whichever video you want to slow down. Um, coincidentally, I do have a video here of my buddy uh, shaking his face around. So what you can do is drag it, but you can't just drag it anywhere as you can see the red X. Oh, you can actually copy it onto the timeline. That's something I just learned. But what I do is um, go down here, and as you can see, if you hold it on something, it switches to that. So normally it would be on effects when you open it up as you saw. So I would hold it on the projects and drag it in right here. It's going to import that. And now you have your sequence and your video. Um, the sequence is here because you could copy it as a whole when you're making a big collaboration. You could save the sequence, things like that. So what you want to do is drag it onto the timeline. And um, here's my video. Uh, keep in mind this is already in slow motion because I was recording this with a slow motion camera. The instructions are going to be the same for you. It's just going to be uh, not as slow, basically. And um, it's it's hard to get a video that will actually work without warping, without any uh, disconfiguration, without any distortion with the video that you're making. And uh, the slow motion videos I've found to be kind of... Um, Kind of, kind, of, kind of good with the slow motion. So what you want to do now is with uh, Twixter, what happens with the video is um, as you probably know, the video gets longer when you slow it down. So what you want to do is make it longer. So you do that by simply copying. So what you want to do is click on the, um, on the track that you put down here. Copy by pressing Control C. Um, you you could just paste it here, clicking there, and it's not going to copy over it, so it's going to skip to the end. But if you move your marker to the end, you will have to move it back to the end of the video, and just keep pressing Control V. Well, that's actually not moved all the way, so you could just skip it here and then press Control V. Wow, I I lied. Get it to the end there. Just keep pressing Control V. Um, the slower you want the video, the longer it's going to turn out. So uh, don't get it. Don't don't stretch the video too long because then it's just going to take longer to to actually load, to actually render, and everything. Even though we're going to cut it. Um, so now what you want to do is create a new sequence because this is in pieces. You can only apply the effect to one. So what you want to do is create a new sequence. Just like I said, it's the whole collaboration of videos so you do that by clicking this nifty little post-it picture and then you click sequence here is the same menu but it's uh, usually highlighted to what you selected before you can change the name of the sequence I'm just gonna leave it as sequence 2 and what you want to do is instead of dragging the clip you drag the whole sequence as you can see it's already a longer video now what you want to do is um if you need to cut it, if you need to cut the video, um, if you don't like the beginning or you're trying to do something, you could do that with the uh, razor tool. You click on that and then you simply cut it wherever the marker is. And then you could go back to mouse and delete that. But I'm going to undo all that because I need all those pieces. Now, as you can see, the video just repeats itself your video will be repeating itself as well um, that's because you need that extra space for it to slow down now what you want to do is once you're up to this point you have the longer video you could go into effects video effects and scroll down and I'm guessing you already have this here because you've installed it like I said I wouldn't be explaining how to install it now but you go to revision plugins you click the arrow and um it doesn't matter which one you use. Twixter Pro is just for the more advanced Twixter users that actually use um, the geometry and the videos and the vectors if you want to use that. But Twixter is just fine. So you drag it onto the onto the clip. And now you have all these options here. If you can't see this, make sure that the effect controls is selected at the top here. If it's on source, it's going to be blank. If it's on audio mixers, you're going to see these different things. Go into effect controls. Now what you need to do is tell the program when it's it's actually acting up. So 
uh, the only thing you want to change here is speed leave everything how it is you don't need the rest once you actually get into the program more you might need it so you click on toggle animation so it knows what it's using and you see this thing pops up it's for in it's for adding or removing keyframes basically showing the program what to do that same button is down here which is uh, basically closer to the video so you might use that since I want to slow the video down right away I could press it right now what you can do is skip ahead to maybe if you're um, on a skateboard you could let's say click it right when you are about to jump not at because this just means that it's going to start getting slow it doesn't get slow right away now what you want to do is go up ahead maybe when you actually jump or when you actually fall whatever you're doing and add another keyframe this time editing this keyframe with the speed the, um, the speed is very sensitive basically if you put it to zero it's not going to move at all so the smaller the number the slower it is closer to zero um, people say usually between 1 and 10 is the best since this is already slow I'm going to make it to 15 because it's already slow so I don't want to uh, bore you guys with this video and uh, hit enter now you're gonna see something has changed that's because the effect is already applied now as you can see when I drag it between the first and the second keyframe it slows down the speed goes down Now, if you press play by pressing space you're gonna see it slows down you might see some 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 distortion as you can see on the bottom lip there it does kind of uh, get weird that's because it guesses the frames and it is a program so it could get messed up now I'm gonna let this play for uh, just about eight seconds and I'm going to create another keyframe leaving it at what it is it's at 15 right now and then creating yet another one after and changing this to 100 back to 100 now this might mess your video up because as you can see it's not changing between these two keyframes it's changing all the way from this hundred so it's basically dropping to 15 and then raising back up in this time here so what you want to do is go back to the keyframe if you can't get it you could um click on this arrow to go to the nearest keyframe and you want to change it to 15 the same speed as the other center keyframe now when you play it is going to go back to the regular speed and there it is if you want to speed up the video a little bit you can do the same exact thing by creating keyframes create a uh, keyframe with a hundred create another keyframe with a higher number it's not as sensitive so you wouldn't be able to put 190 and see a big difference you're gonna need to put something like uh, you know 200 for twice as fast 300 for three times as fast I'm gonna put about 500 because that's how I think my camera how much it slows it down and it uh, basically speeds it up and it looks like the original speed but we're not doing that now so now that you have your the the length of the um, of the clip you see it ends right here I'm going to use the razor tool and cut it right there select the mouse click on this track and hit delete now that's gone you see the track got smaller um, and you're basically ready if you want to add some music you could add up to three different audios if you want to get rid of the music because I know Twixer kind of messes up the music you right click here press unlink which separates the audio from the video hit on the first audio and hit delete and add your music so thanks for watching guys if you have more questions about Premiere Pro or Twixter comment down below or send me a message and I'll be sure to help you right away see ya sorry one more thing I did forget is actually exporting it I did have problems myself doing this so what you want to do once you actually have the clip is go on file and export the clip as media these are different formats um, separate formats you do not want to do that it's to bring into other programs unless you know what you're doing you hit on media and now you can select the length of the clip if you didn't cut it before leave it as the whole thing now you can change the format and how you're exporting it you can actually export an animated GIF file or GIF however you call it I'm gonna leave it as it is 
uh, you can match the sequence settings which will change to what you created earlier if you want to just skip all this you could just hit that and all your video settings are going to be the same and um, now you could cue the render so that it renders right after your last clip is rendered or something like that or you could just hit export and uh, let's see source scaling scale to fit scale to fill stretch to fill I guess that's if you're working on a smaller one and uh, as you can see there's a big black border around my video because my video was a lot smaller resolution than 720 by 480 that's why you have that you could select auto so that it does it for you but right now I did kinda of mess up with my video but it really doesn't matter in this in this point now um, to select where you want to export it it's right here output name and you can see where it actually exports it you could click on it and select where you want that once you hit export it's just going to close once it's done uh, you'll be left with the Premiere Pro window and the video is going to be in that folder so thanks for watching um, you heard me say this before but please subscribe comment down below if you have any questions talk to you guys later